mathematicians in this video we want to prove that rank of a transpose a is equal to rank of a this is a very important result you can use this result in solving many problems so i thought of making a different video on this one particular result alone let's see uh, to call to prove this result uh, we take we calculate norm of a x square okay norm of a x square equal to inner product a x comma a x this is equal to inner product x comma a transpose a x so this a goes here let's calculate what is this quantity inner product x comma a transpose x so a is a n by n matrix and x is a n by 1 vector okay uh, because you want to calculate a x so if this is a n by n matrix it is a n by 1 vector then only a will act on this vector okay now uh, a is a n by n matrix and a transpose is also a n by n matrix so its product will be a n by n matrix okay and x is a n by 1 vector so if you multiply a if you calculate a transpose a times x it will be a n by 1 vector okay so a transpose a of x it is a n by 1 vector that vector we denoted by y1 y2 etc yn okay now inner product x comma a transpose a x is equal to so x i take it to be x1 x2 etc xn and a transpose a x i take it i take it i i have considered here as y1 y2 etc y1 therefore their inner product is equal to x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus etc plus xn yn okay therefore inner product x comma a transpose x is equal to this value okay now we calculate this expression x transpose a transpose a x what is this value and uh, we will see what we are getting so now a transpose a x that we take it to be y1 y2 etc yn therefore x transpose a transpose a x note that uh, a transpose a x a transpose a x is a n by 1 vector and x transpose if x is a n by 1 vector then x transpose is 1 by n vector so 1 by n n by 1 you will get 1 by 1 okay so maybe i'll just write it down 1 by n this one and this a transpose x a x is n by 1 so together we get a number 1 by 1 so what is the x transpose if uh, this is x so x transpose is this row vector a transpose ax is this column vector if you multiply if you take if you if you do the matrix multiplication you will get x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus x3 y3 plus etc plus x1 y1 therefore inner product x comma a transpose ax is actually equal to x transpose a transpose ax because finally we are getting the same answer therefore inner product a x square equal to this quantity but this quantity is equal to x transpose a transpose ax so we get norm a x square is equal to x transpose a transpose ax now <coughs> now for x not equal to 0 a x equal to 0 if and only if norm a x equal to 0 okay this is a property of the norm so norm a x equal to 0 if and only if norm a x square equal to 0 but norm a x square equal to x transpose a transpose a x so this is equal to 0 now since x is a non-zero vector okay if uh, this vector a transpose a x this y1 y2 etc yn if this is a non-zero vector then x transpose times this is a non-zero vector times non-zero vector if you multiply the words vector you will get a non-zero vector this implies uh, so this implies that since this is a non-zero vector and since you are getting a zero here this vector has to be a zero vector so we conclude that uh, a x equal to 0 if and only if a transpose a times x equal to 0 in particular x belongs to kernel of a if and only if x belongs to kernel of a transpose a therefore kernel of a equal to kernel of a transpose a 
This implies nullity of A. Nullity means dimension of the kernel of A. Is equal to dimension of the kernel of A transpose A. Now, by rank nullity theorem, uh, so what we have, if A is a n by n matrix, suppose A is a n by n matrix, then n equal to uh, nullity of A plus rank of A. Okay. Therefore, if two matrices have the same nullity, by rank nullity theorem, they have the same rank also. Okay. Therefore, rank of A and rank of A transpose A are equal. This, this is the result we are trying to prove. Okay. Okay, guys, if you learned something new from this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.